Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. You know, a lot of you have been asking me, hey, man, how do you run a Dreamcast emulator on your PC? Remember something, guys. All of these emulators, they need one thing. One thing only. It's like a heart. They need that heart called BIOS or, or soul, if you will. They need that BIOS. And it has to be a uh, correct BIOS downloaded and implemented into these uh, emulators. They all work based on a correct BIOS. If you don't have that BIOS, it will not work. So that's the key thing. So the first thing you have to do is you have to go to uh, demul.com and from there you download the latest version, which is right here. Uh, this is the latest version right here, built 11117, okay? You got about five ones and seven. That's the new version built right there. You need to download. Okay. And this is the website right here. It's called the uh, Demul Emulation 64.com. Once you download it, then you obviously install it, extract it. All right. So there it is, meaning you have to extract it. You can use a zip file. 7-zip, it's free. You can download 7-zip. Just Google 7-zip and you can extract it. You click the right button and you extract, okay? That's very that simple, all right? Now, I have already extracted. It's right here, okay? You will see that folder right there. There it is. It's already extract. You click on it. Now, this is what uh, this file consists of, okay? This is where you click on the uh, Demule to start the software. But before you do that, you need to create a new uh, a new folder, okay? You need to create a new folder here, right uh, in within this Demule uh, 1117 file that you just extracted okay so you need to rename the new folder here built a new folder and rename it to roms okay now once you do that once you rename it to roms you need to go ahead and download a bios now the reason you created this folder it's so you can put that bios inside this ROMs folder, okay? That's the reason why you created that folder. Now, the, the next step is you need to download the, uh, the BIOS. And this is the website right here. There's the address. Just pause the video, download this, uh, go, to this uh, go to this website right here, mloveroms.com. Go to this website, download, uh, type it in, I'm sorry, type in this uh, address right here type it in and then download it there it is right here it's only six megabytes it's very uh, uh easy download download it once you download it once you download that bios okay you need to uh rename it and call it dc okay what i would do is i would extract that bios for Dreamcast, keep it on the desktop and rename it DC. Once you rename it DC, then you move it right here and put it inside the ROMs folder. So basically, all you have to do is put that BIOS uh, that you downloaded for Dreamcast, rename it DC, and put it inside ROMs. And there it is, it's inside, and this is what it consists of. This is all the stuff that's in there. This is the, the heartbeat of what makes this uh, emulator work. And once you've done that, then you launch your uh, Demule and you go to configuration. You go to the uh, video right here. You can select whatever resolution you want if you want. Okay. After you have configured your resolution uh, that you want for your 
television or your laptop, then you go to the most important part right here. Go to the configuration. Go to the uh, plugins and path. Make sure that your video plugin is set to uh, uh, GPU DirectX 11, the latest one, DirectX 11. Second thing, this is the most important stuff right here. It will not work unless you have this correct. Make sure that your GD-ROM, this is what Streamcast used. Make sure that your GD-ROM plugin is set to GDR image. Once it's set to GDR image, then you're all set. And then you click OK. And if you want to test to see if you have the correct BIOS and if it's working properly, all you have to do, just click File and click Run Dreamcast. And here you will see it running shortly. There it is. And there it is. It's working. You can put it to full screen if you like. All you have to do is just click uh, Alt Enter. And there it is. Uh, you can also configure your controllers. Okay. Uh, currently I have my Xbox One controller. Which works fine. As you can see right here. You can adjust everything like on a normal Dreamcast. You can go to the settings right here. And you can adjust the time, uh, language and everything. Go back. Uh, as you can see I'm using my uh, controller right here. Hold on. Everything's working as it should. And uh, how do you configure controller? Well, let me show you how to configure controller. It's really simple. Uh, configuring the controller, it's really not that difficult. So let me show you. Just go to the uh, config and hit on controls. And you hit the joystick one, which I already have right here. And you click on all of these layout button maps and you just simply uh, follow the instruction for the up and up, down and down, and click on your controller and assign. This is basically you're assigning all of your button mapping on this controller. Okay, the one that I have here pretty much are all identical. So you just map these controllers exactly as they are here. And you're good to go. All right, so the next thing you want to do, you click on a file and you select what game do you want to play, okay? Uh, you just click play right here and then you go and search for the games. And here you go, you're good to go. There's a game right there, NFL 2K. I got uh, NFL 2K ready to go. All set. Okay. And pretty much I'm all set. Now, there's one more thing you need to understand. Uh, if you want to start a game, you have to go to GD-ROM. You have to go to GD-ROM, which is right over here. You go to uh, GD-ROM. You click on it. And then you select what game do you want to play. It's really that simple. And you're good to go. It, it's really not that hard, guys. You have to understand uh, one basic principle of all of these emulators is that you are using a BIOS, proper BIOS. If it doesn't have a proper BIOS, it's not going to work correctly. So it's very important that you have that proper BIOS. Okay. This game brings back memories. Well, back in the days, this was a, a groundbreaking game, you know, back in 2000, back in 99, this was huge. Well, anyway, there you have it, guys, a small little step just to show you how to do this, how to start the uh, Dreamcast on your emulator.